Hi everyone, my name is Afiz Aremon. I play for IK Start in Norway in Nigeria International. Keep supporting Eagle Striker, they are the best, they motivate you, they support the young ones and young talents, the players. They're trying their best to promote the most Nigeria players, which they are doing. I know they are gonna do, they are gonna achieve their aim. Well, I was born in Ibadan, like uh, that's where that's where I was like when I went for my secondary school. I was school there in Ibadan. When after I finished my secondary school, I moved to Lagos, which is the one academy in, called in West Allo, which is um, held by Dosi Joseph, the former um, Nigeria goalkeeper, Atlanta '96. So I started my I started playing when I was um, seven years and. In a, in a field called um, IMG in Nevada. My brother used to take me to the field because my brother, so he played alongside with Michael Bid in 2003, yeah? Meridian Cup, when there was another summer team. But fortunately, unfortunately, he didn't make it to play. He didn't make it to play in Europe. I have two brothers, also. Like, one also played in 3SC in Nevada. I don't know, maybe you know, you've heard about the team before, yeah. So, but fortunately, they didn't make it to Europe. And to uh, Europe, to play in Europe, I'm, I'm the only one that make it to play in Europe with their support, everything. Yeah, before you know, my my parents, they were like, because we are six, we are three boys, three guys, three girls. They were they were thinking because two of my brothers they didn't make it in football, so they were thinking they don't want me to be in their shoe. They want me to school because we have a, a brother in America. They wanted me to come to school in America. They, was, they sat me down for a meeting. I said, what am I going to do? I said, I wanted to play football. They wanted to go to school. I said, I'm going to make this family proud. So, so with my brother's support, they like convinced my mom and dad to allow me to play football. Yeah, what, motiv what, what, what motivates me is um, when, I, when I get into the, the academy I told you about in Lagos, led by Dr. Joseph Westerlo, because he has like an... And uh, I, uh, well, I, uh, no, 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 like he has like an, uh, let me say combination with a uh, team in Belgium, West Allo. So like, yeah, yeah, so they have like, they are, they are into a, like a good relationship, like if you are doing well in Nigeria, they can come and scout you, take you to Belgium, to something like that. So that was once inspired me. Since then, I've like dreamed to play in Belgium. Because in the streets, everybody in my school, everything, like I used to play, you know, school team, something like that. So they say, go, you're a guy, you're a good player, I just have to make it, keep on pushing. You have two brothers that are going to push you, something like that. I say, fine, thank you. So that's everything. Like, yeah. let me see my brothers, like, making part in my life also. I was always, I was sorry, fans of Manchester United. I support Michael Carrick on post schools. I always watch the way they played. So they are really inspired me. I love the way they the pattern of their playing that. And I add it, even if I can't like take the 100%, we add it to my game. And it's also helped me a lot. Helped me during the time I played in Nigeria and before moving abroad. I just said I'm a talented player and like with a good, ambitious and determined football player. When the team lose the ball, I can like get the ball, like maybe like the ninety percent, like gain the possession back to play with my teammates. Like when he balls, when he does everything. Yeah, of course, you know we will play. We are not, we are not hundred percent. We keep learning every, every day, every day, every day. Just have to work on my like maybe when he does on the head, on the like when he ball on the air. Mm. Uh, uh, when I was in um, in the academy, I studied in Lagos, in West Allo, which is where I just Joseph. I went to uh, Sharks of Port Harcourt. Like I, they was encouraging me that the Sharks was always come to Lagos to, for a preseason. So unfortunately, they play a friendly game with Dosu Joseph. So we are playing, and it's an opportunity for we guys to showcase our talent. If we are able to pick, so from there. 
I play well. I play. I, I play really good, and the coach said he's going to encourage me. So that's when I was just um, becoming a Sharks football player. Well, yeah, it's not really. It's not really. Um, really so hard, but I can say it's hard also because you have to just have to focus. Because all the players who played in Nigeria, we have like, uh, uh, like everybody wanted to play in Europe. Like we have it in our by back of our mind. I wanted to play in Europe. We just have to focus on your game. Every game you are playing and everything you are doing, you have to keep on doing your best. But not to be negative in a team. You have to be positive. Everything like that. So I really worked so hard when I leave the shark. When I leave sharks, I went to another team. So I was like, okay, getting an opportunity down when I'm in Sharks. So that's when I just, from there, I, play, I was invited to the national team. That's when I like, I was uh, like a national team, which we, 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 we went to Ghana for a tournament, which there is no bonus, there's no company allowance. So nobody wanted to like play for free. Well, I was like, okay, this is a chance for me, like this tournament. I know mean, there, there are going to be a, a, like a scout or anybody to come and watch the game. So, and every game you are playing is like you have to be given every percent, no matter how, no matter how, no matter where you are playing. No, everybody's nobody are like everybody's watching you. She understand? So that's when I was scout to be like to be where I am today. And in my first game, I can remember against Sierra Leone. That's when I signed for this for my club here in in Norway. Uh, the biggest cha challenge I've, I've faced so far in my career, like maybe like if you are playing the same way with your like uh, with a player, like you are, like you are like you are going fighting for a position in a team. That's like that's a little like that is a big challenge. I'm like I like me like I face in the football and I like facing it. It's make me a good player and it make me uh, like uh, to like uh, to be uh, to be on top of my game. I like to be competing with any players who are playing the same way. Nobody's. Perfect is what you give in the field or what you give in the training that is going to satisfy the coach you put in the system. So that's the biggest challenge I can say I face them. Yeah, for like in my first year in the line starts, I find this so hard and not because I've not played in, it is my first time playing in Europe. I've never experienced it before. Like you've seen snow playing on snow and a cold weather, something like that. your foot, <laughs> everything everywhere will be like sucked up. Yeah? So just little bits like, like challenge when I start, but during the like during the summer, like when we get to the summer, I like getting used to the weather. So I like so that's when I just okay, maybe and it gets easy for me this year when we started this season this year, like I was not like feeling like last year. So it's it's very difficult for me when I start playing and started playing playing for my team and uh, uh, last year. So uh, I tried and cope like it is an opportunity like to showcase my talent and to play in to because my biggest dream is to play in Central Europe. From Central Europe, we can play in anywhere in the world. So I really like I'm really happy for my performance last year because like how many games I played, I scored like four uh, five goals. Yeah, no, okay, four goals. Three in the league and one in the cup game. But fortunately, I've not scored this season. But I'm looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, we like and really get the last season, which like that's not where we want. That's what that's not what we want. Like we just want to remain in the league last season. But we, let's say maybe we started bad, but not really so bad. But you know, it's very bit late for us when we did towards the end of the season. But fortunately, we really get it. But this season, we just like. No matter how we have to just have to come to the first and to the top league. Because this team is not supposed to be in, the, in, in this position or playing in Obos. Because Obos is very boring league. Yeah, it's very boring. So we started good and we are looking forward to get the team back to the top division. Yeah, my let me say the, my first priority like to get to the, the team back to the top division. She understand. So the little rest, I'm just playing my own. I don't even think maybe there's some like I know any transfer that I wanted to come like maybe any team that I wanted to sign me or whatever. They just have to contact the the team. I can't decide. 
you have to counter the team because I me, mean, I'm just playing my own to just get myself better and better, better every day and every game, every training. So I don't even think about maybe, but I know, I always say this way, because time is the best. You can just force things to come. You just have to wait for your time. Okay, yeah, <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Before the end of my career, like, when like told myself like I wanted to win so many league or trophies or uh, medals in, in as much before in the end of my career and to also make like to achieve something in the team like the way like the way they are they are kind of digital culture is now they are like they set a record in, in PSG the voting I always remember them that was really that's everything that I'm looking forward to also to make a history to the club in every club I play. So it'll be like, remember this guy when he played this, give all his best in his life uh, to play, uh, to, play, to play every game for us. So like, during the end of my career, like, I always say, my, say to myself, I can't be a coach because uh, <laughs> I don't have the, I don't have, to, I don't have the arts because I really like, <laughs> because, uh, because any time I'm on the bench, like maybe once or twice I've been on the bench, I was like, Listen to the, the coach the way they feel like no I can't take it <laughs> because I think they are under they are, they are under pressure more than we on the field. There's one game last season we were playing. That's like when I've been like it's my happiest day since when I've been like when I've been to a football career. Like like yeah of course there's something that happened like we are we are we are losing one zero. No, we are losing here yeah, one zero. Yeah, I mean our in our in home game, uh, which is very important, a uh, important point for us. Uh, like important game also important game for us. Yeah, we are playing against Tabek. Tabek because we are fighting for relegation. Then, but for today we relegated. Yeah. So we are leading one zero first half. Like go to the dressing room. Our coach was like I, like shouting this, and I don't like something like maybe go to be shouting on the player something like that because. All of us, you don't have to send by some, like, maybe be, like, fidgetry. Like, not to be doing the writing on the field, like, something like that. Because I only feel for them when they're shouting because they taught us everything, game plans, everything to do on the field. We just go to the field, we'll be doing something else. But we came back in the second half. We scored the first, we, we equalized 1-1. One, one, towards a, like, in 75 minutes, yeah. Playing, you playing. I have, I have an, one attempt like that, but it's the bar, which is supposed to be, like, 2-1. But I, do, I don't lose. I don't lose focus. I keep playing, 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 playing. So when they get to seventy fifth minute, I just had a chance. I kick the ball. The keeper save it, and I don't have choice. I have to use my head instead of using my leg. Because if I said I wanted to use my leg, it's going to be like the, the opponent is going to like clear the ball before my leg go through the, to the ball. I just have to use my head. But fortunately, the guy just sees his leg because when he, if he throw his leg, he's gonna kick my head and maybe I can get the concussion or anything. <laughs> I just risk, my, risk myself for the team. Fortunately, the referee said it is a goal, so that was the happiest day, and we won two one. So, and I also give they give me the man of the match. So, I'm really, yeah, I'm really so happy. What's your favorite player? Fortunately, when Onazi was playing, I was supporting Onazi when he. Girls enjoy, you know, it is not, it's not, be, it's not been to a system like World Cup and Nations Cup, but still, I'm still supporting him. But I look, yeah, he's still playing. So now I just like to choose like, because it's been a long time layoff and uh, injury. So now, for now, I'm just looking at a table. Of, of course, we play together when I mean uh, Nigeria. Then, but uh, it's like he's good. The way he play, the way he passes, the way he, the way energy on his feet. So I think it's a good replacement for him. Yeah, normally, you know, we eat, you normally eat rice. Since when I've been here, we normally eat rice before eating the game, before playing the game, we eat rice. So, and it's just, I don't eat big like that, just a little. So it don't get me every now and No, 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 no. No, no, it's just normal. It's just normal, I don't know. Just normal. Yeah, I just take it every day, every day. Of course. 
I listen to music. I listen to music because uh, we because I used to play music in dressing room, which is not the favorite music for me to be listening to before. And I have I have some favorite music to be to listen before the game, which which like um like um because this is my like best artist, uh, whiskey. I listen to his music every time I wanted to play, so it really motivates me. Yeah, I don't have much energy just to pay them to keep playing, to keep be the, keep uh, keep being themselves. Don't uh, they should not allow side distraction. Just keep focusing on everything they are doing that uh, they can do here. Yeah, like just keep focusing on every trainer and every game they are playing. Just make sure they are improving and we and their weakness. Just make sure they are improving it, uh, not to relent.